Uh, I got a phone call from my girlfriend in McEwen saying that the roads were bad. So I made the decision to uh, pack up my to-go bag. I always have a to-go bag ready because of that creek flood. I woke up, my daughter said, hey, we probably need to leave now. I was driving along, all of a sudden, I crossed the railroad bridge up here on 70 and I got a little bit of water and the water gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Within two minutes, two or three minutes, it was in my lap. So I figured, I'm, I mean, I'm panicking this time. The emotions that, are, that I'm going through are just outrageous. I crawl out, I sit on the cab of my truck, the highest point on my truck. And then all of a sudden it's up to my chest. As my truck started floating, it started floating past vehicles. There's a man standing on the top of, of his vehicle. And I said, sir, my name is Todd Wirtz. I have a daughter, McKenna Wirtz and Jordan Wirtz. If anything, if anything happens to me, please let them know that I love them. I kept praying, kept praying, Lord, 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 find a way to rescue all these people on top of these vehicles and myself, please. Within five minutes, this guy on the top of the hill, I, I hear a noise on top of this hill at his driveway. He's bringing his bass boat down. As soon as I saw that boat, I knew that there was hope. I knew that I was gonna be saved. I wasn't, alone, I wasn't alone anymore, that I'd see my daughters. He got me in the boat uh, and we started saving the rest of the people. I praise God every single day for Mr. Emery. I praise God for the, for the help that this community has served the people of this community. The pain that you go through. I, I never realized that when I was doing disaster relief. I was there helping people. I was there helping get their lives back together, but I never understood the trauma that these people have gone through. When you guys came in Tuesday and helped me, that burden was just outrageously lifted off of me. They also made me feel good. Not because of what they were doing, but how they talked to me, how they interacted with me, how they comforted me. Each and every one of them promised. You know what, it looks like a, it's a disaster now, but it, but it will get better. So the reassurance that I got from them was probably the, the lifesaver of them all. I became involved in the disaster response team here. It was a big part of our life and one of our big joys. People, when they've gone through something like this, need to tell their story. They need to unload those feelings. We are here because we care. And we care because Jesus cared for us. And if they don't know uh, the love of the Lord, it's an opportunity to share that with them sometimes. We're here really to tell the gospel, and if necessary, do some work. And for people who are believers, to just remind them that their hope is somewhere beyond the stuff that they just lost.